Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento 2 Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to create a CMS page in Magento 2. Dead simple to do, Dave. So with that said, let's jump across to our desktop and do this. Oh, and by the way, don't forget you can follow us along with your Magento 2 website at the same time. We can find the CMS section, and by the way, CMS stands for Content Management System. In plain English, that allows you to create pages on your Magento 2 website. Is that a good explanation, Lama Dave? Yeah, that's a great explanation. That's exactly what it does. Yeah, CMS sounds scary, but you're just going to create pages which your customers can view on your Magento website. So with that said, on the left-hand menu, go and click on Content, and then click on Pages. Now, Dave, Magento 2 out of the box comes with several pages by default. So you'll come with error not found, the home page. You've got enable cookies and a privacy and cookie policy. A daft little note is that you will definitely want to go and update these so that they are applicable to you and your business. Oh, and there's an extra one in our store because we've created a test page which we're going to be using in a few moments time. Now Dave, for this tutorial, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a page for our shipping information. So nice and easy example. And to do that, click on add new page in the top right hand corner. Now the page title, this is the title of the page which appears in your customer's web browser. So let's type in shipping. The URL key. Now Dave, that's the address which the customer would either type in or the link which you would then create which uh, customers can then find that page by. So we're gonna keep that nice and simple and we're gonna call that shipping. The store view, we're gonna select all store views. And of course, if you've got multiple store views or multiple sites, then you can select or deselect them as appropriate. Obviously, we want this page to be enabled. Then from the left-hand side, click on content. And we're not actually gonna fill out a content heading for this one, Dave. Instead, we've already been and prepared some content in the background, but you'll see the WYSIWYG, the what you see, what you get editor here. It does provide basic functionality for you. If I'm frankly honest, is that I'd be personally more inclined to enter the HTML or raw HTML in there. And of course you can do that too by clicking on show hide editor to enable or disable that. But for this tutorial, We've been and prepared a shipping page in here, so for faster and time deliveries and also standard UK home delivery. Obviously, this is your Magento website. You would want to tweak any of these content on there as you see appropriate. You've got all the standard features available to you up here in the sync. And by the way, did you know they call that the sync, Dave? There's all the different tool options in there. Why do they call it the sync? A kitchen sink. <laughs> Everything but the kitchen sink, isn't it? Yeah, indeed. By the way, there is one little tool which I am just going to pause and point out to you. We're actually using a table in here. So Dave, can you see we've created a table here with the different shipping options? Is that if you wanted to create a table, and again, a shipping page is a brilliant example because using a table to tabulize your shipping rates makes it very, very easy for your customers to understand. The button which you're after is this one here on the left hand side. So I'm just going to move my mouse off that and just highlight that on the screen for you. So if you click on the pencil icon, then you can choose the number of columns and the number of rows. So a very simple one, maybe you've got five rows and then click on insert. We've just been in inserted a table and then you can have UK shipping, for example, and then click into the other box, which admittedly that can be tricky at times getting in the right box. Can you use a tab? Does that help? I tried tab, but we're dealing with web browsers, so it tabbed to a different section. Good call though, Dave, good call. So table's really, really handy. That's the one feature which I'm gonna point out for you. The next option on the left-hand side is design. Now, I assume that you'll definitely want to change this from layer empty. And in here, we've got multiple options. Now, you'll probably wanna choose two columns for the left-hand bar, or maybe three columns, depending upon the layout of your Magento website. We're going to choose two columns with left bar. Now there are advanced features in here. You can set different themes and custom layouts and also design specific dates. Personally, what I found, I've never really used that across any of the Magento sites. There is one other section which you'll want to be aware of is the meta description. In many ways, meta keywords are now dead. Saying that there are web search engines like Yandex, for example, which use that. 
but Google only ever really looks for descriptions, so you'll probably want to update a description in here as well. Once you've been and done that, click on Save Page at the top. And now, Dave, can you see that we've got a new page in here? We've got shipping. We've got the URL key of shipping. So in our case, it will be magento2.com forward slash magento and then shipping. That's how customers can get to that page. And of course, if you were creating custom links from another page, that's the URL key which you would use. We've got the layout in here as well. The store views which it's been applied to, its status being enabled. Now, Dave, we can actually go off and preview this page. And by the way, it's definitely worth doing this just before you go off and clear your caches out. On the right hand side, if you click on select and then click on preview, is that you'll then be able to see a preview of your page. Now, Dave, we had a little hiccup a few minutes ago, didn't we? <laughs> we did. We made everything disappear. <laughs> Yeah, if you're looking on your Magento 2 website right now and you don't see the header section or any of the left hand bar or any of the footer at the bottom, don't panic. All you need to do is clear out your caches. Now, Dave, we've got a big white space there because that's where the empty table is. And you'll see that we've got different formatting in there. Tables work brilliantly and so on and so forth. All the basic things which you can do in your text editor or in the WYSIWYG editor. So let's go back. Maybe you want to change the layout. If you want to edit any of these options, you can click along that row. So maybe you wanted to disable the page. You could do from this bar. Maybe you want to change the layout. So we're going to change ours to a one column layout, maybe to keep in keeping with the rest of the pages which we've got on the site. Then click on save. Now a little note here is that you'll definitely want to update your caches. There isn't any warning at the top of here, but maybe you were getting the blank page or just the page without any of your header or sidebar or footers, for example, like we mentioned a few moments ago. To rectify that, go down to system, click on cache management, and a very simple way of addressing that is by going select all underneath the mass actions option, then click on submit. And of course, if we wait for that to finish and nip across to our Magento site, so let's go and click on customer view, we're gonna tweak the URL at the top to shipping and then hit enter and we will then be presented with our custom page which we created a few moments ago. So myself and Matt both sincerely hope that you found this tutorial useful and maybe unwrapped some of the mystery that surrounds the word CMS and actually they're not that scary it's just an easy way to create pages on your Magento 2 website. That's right. And Dave, we started off with a nice, simple example just for shipping. We saw that there's a WYSIWYG editor in there. We can create tables. We can do different font sizes and things like that. But we could also use this as a basic CMS. By the way, I wouldn't suggest using the Magento built CMS system for creating a blog or anything like that for frequently updated information. But maybe you could create user guides for your customers. Dave, we reviewed the site a couple of days back over on the Understand Any Mastermind, which we run live every Tuesday. And the viewer's site, which we were reviewing, he was actually selling mountain bike tires, wasn't he? What did he do for that, Dave? He had created one sort of master page, but actually used targets to separate the content out. Uh, he used it for, there was a, a size guide, which helped potential customers find out more about tires. There was one about branding, the different tire compounds that he used. Yeah, just a real, real wealth of information that anyone in that market for that product would be interested to know. And crucially, he kept them on his website. He didn't rely on them having to go externally and find the information. He kept them on his website, hopefully gave them the answers and then that's just going to increase the likelihood of them checking out on his website. Absolutely. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid.
how you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.